Project Discovery recently released version 3.3.9 of Nuclei. The release comes with a lot of features and bug fixes, but there's one feature I'm really excited about, the addition of the AI flag. So I thought I will make a short video showcasing how cool this feature is. If you don't know what Nuclei is, I would highly recommend you watch my earlier video about Nuclei from Project Discovery. If you're following my channel, you might know that I'm a big fan of project discovery tools, especially because they are open source and easy to use. So let's quickly dive into it. Let me open my terminal. Let me check the version of Nuclear. And as you can see, our version is the same 3.3.9, which is the latest version. And if you're using it for the first time, make sure you do nuclei hyphen auth and here the instructions are pretty straightforward you go to this url and get your free api key so let's do that All right. If you don't have a account, just like me, you should register. Let me make it a bit bigger so it's more visible. I'm going to go here. And of course, since I don't have a account, I'm going to sign up. And once I'm logged in, now I will go and grab my API key. Once I copy it, I'll go back to my console and just paste it here and press enter. And now I am successfully logged in. Now, if you know about Nuclei or you would have watched my previous video about Nuclei, you would know that you can specify a template in order to run Nuclei. The Nuclei engine would take that template, which is a YAML based configuration and based on the template, it would perform actions and give you data. If you don't specify a, any template, it will directly take all the community provided templates by default. But with this new feature, now we do not need to provide it a template. You can simply ask AI to do it for you. Let me show you this with an example. Here I see I have a target which shows a user ID and an API key as a response. And I have another target which has a lot of emails and other juicy information. So let me create a file with the list of all my targets. Let me go back to terminal and I will simply create targets.txt and then I will paste the two links. But of course, like the power of nuclei comes when you uh, target many URLs. So here I will type google.com and let's take github.com. These are the two targets that I have. Of course, in uh, a real world scenario, you will have a lot of subdomains. So let me save them. And now what I can do is I can ask nuclei to have targets.txt. Then I can put type an AI and I'll write find all email addresses. So it goes through all my targets and gives me a list of email addresses so and here you see it find in this space bin all the email addresses and on github it finds you at the red domain.com because if you'll go to the github website this is a placeholder so instead of creating a template it basically gives me a really nice way of generating templates on the fly now i can mix and match as much as i want so for example instead of finding all email addresses what i could do is find or 
let's change the extract api key from json and i'll run it and as you can see it actually identified the api key in this url now the templates that have been generated you could see that they are generated here and if you want to reuse them you can simply go here and have a look at them and of course you can change them as per your needs so you don't have to create a template from scratch now this all seems really cool so you might be asking are there any drawbacks well while testing the ai flag i have found that sometimes the templates are not generated correctly meaning if i'll say that hey find all sensitive information the idea of information being sensitive is very subjective which is very hard for ai to understand another issue that you might face is hallucinations so it might generate a template that may not be valid still it does a pretty decent job of generating nuclei templates learning how to create your own nuclei templates has been a major roadblock for beginners while trying to use nuclei with this feature i would say project discovery has done a pretty good job of removing that roadblock if you haven't already i would highly recommend that you install the latest version of nuclei and try it yourself and maybe add your opinions in the comments what are the goods what are the bads and what are the things i absolutely missed thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one